the continuous growth in the number of severe floods as a consequence of extreme weather caused by the climate change events affects the living conditions of many people, causing damage to properties, infrastructures and, in a worst case, to life. Globally, since the turn of the century, the percentage of the population exposed to flooding has increased. Decision makers of the smart city, civil protection bodies and infrastructure managers need the timely information to undertake effective measures for risk mitigation. As a satellite earth observation can support preventive measures and the damage assessment, research initiatives have proven in recent years that the remote land monitoring can provide useful insights for the assessment of pluvial floodings. Within the AI for Copernicus third open call for experiments, artists realize EO for Nowcast, an innovative decision support system for the security of infrastructures and cities, that represents a replicable approach to assess hazards related to severe weather events in the short term, by leveraging the synergy between Earth observation and ground-based rainfall monitoring. The innovative approach of yo 4 nowcast processes Copernicus Sentinel observations with machine learning models to deliver two operational products, near real-time maps of the soil moisture and the plavial flood hazard predictions in the short term, also called the flood nowcasting. The normalized difference water index is a parameter that represents the greenness of the biomes and can be analyzed to extract approximated local soil moisture information and the capacity of the territory to retain a storm of water. Within EO4 Nowcast, an AI model for soil moisture monitoring has been developed to compute a near real time assessment of NDMI by processing the most recent tiles available from the Sentinel 2 repository and rainfall maps continuously delivered by Ground Monitoring Network. The NRTSM service allows to exploit the large area coverage of satellite tiles and, at the same time, to meet the need to up to date measurement with hourly frequency. As part of the EO for Nowcast architecture, a second AI asset performs short-term predictions of the plavial flood. It takes advantage of the information elaborated by the mentioned NRT soil moisture subservice and merge it with available real-time ground-based rainfall measurements. In this way, the PFN method can evaluate the water runoff expected as soon as a new rainfall map is made available and provide alerts when a given threshold specifically defined for the use case is exceeded. The full EO4 Nowcast processing chain has been tested in the use case of the Polcevera River Basin, located in the Genoa Metropolitan City. This area has been considered particularly appropriate as a context of experimentation due to its unfavorable climatic and geomorphological context, with the large urbanized areas exposed to plavial floodings. At the end of the AI for Copernicus project, the two AI pipelines implementing the NRTSM mapping and the PF now casting have been published on the AIOD platform as Docker microservices. The two Docker containers have been provided on the AIOD platform together with the Polcevera training datasets and back-end front-end applications for the execution of the service on a user-friendly web platform. But now, let's take a closer look to the EO4 Nowcast DSS. The front-end service of EO4 Nowcast implements a web interface that shows the principal features of the DSS for severe weather hazard nowcasting. The main panel is composed of the geographical representation of the territory as a background layer. On top, the most recent NDMI map processed starting from Sentinel-2. The NDMI provides approximated information on the water scarcity in the vegetation and it's here assumed as an indirect indicator of the surface soil moisture. The color scale is represented in the right corner legend. This is intended as an online monitoring of the ongoing hydrogeological condition of uh, the area of interest. In this example, we focus on the Polcevera River Basin use case in Genoa, Italy. The white triangle symbols as a visual representation of the flood hazard level predicted by EO4 Nocast AI Nocasting model. In this case, 
very low hazard level are displayed in the white color as a consequence of moderate soil moisture condition and a good weather situation. A calendar control allows accessing to past day condition. In this example, a night flu hazard condition is represented. Information on the available variable is reported in the details box. The box specifies the date and time of the product analyzed by the system. The layers box allows switching among the different variables from the near real-time soil moisture map to the rainfall accumulated over the observing period. The example shows a day of high rainfall values measured by the ground-based monitoring system. More details about the alert timing and the hazard class predicted by eo Nocast are included in the dedicated box. Thanks for watching this video. To know more about you for now, contact us at info at